Dr. Blake Steger here with Westside Medical. Today I'm going to cover uh, sciatica and how I'll use the reverse hyper to treat it. A little disclaimer is if you have sciatica, you want to get it evaluated by a healthcare professional. Okay? So what sciatica is, is for these lower lumbar nerves and sacral nerves through here, when they become irritated, causing pain down the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve runs through the front of the pelvis and out this sciatic notch into the hamstring, into the calf, and into the foot. And so when you have an irritation, be it here, most of the time through the discs, or sometimes even you have a piriformis muscle here, this muscle can, can have a spasm from repetitive stress. That's going to compress the sciatic nerve and cause referral pain as well. So in the clinic, we try to treat both. We do soft tissue work on the piriformis muscle as well as work these lower discs. Now in the lumbar spine, when you have a disc that's causing an irritation, uh, causing the sciatica, it's generally the L5-S1 or the L4-L5. They cause probably about 95% of the, uh, the disc issues that we see in, in, the, in the clinic here. And so what happens is this disc becomes injured and it causes an inflammatory response. And the inflammation causes that nerve to be irritated, causing the sciatic pain. So if you zoom in here, this here would be an example of some of the, the ways a disc can be injured. Like a, a common disc irritation is where this, uh, if you look at the anatomy here, this annulus fibrosis and this nucleus pulposus here, this nucleus pulposus pushes into this outer part causing an inflammatory response. Also sometimes we see in clinic, not very often, but sometimes we'll see when actual disc herniation is putting compression on the actual nerve. When you have that actual compression, that's where you see some, some, uh, some muscle strength loss. Like a common orthopedic test we use is where somebody, uh, we have somebody stand on their tippy toes, and if they're unable to do that, that would mean that that sacral nerve is being actually compressed. And so our mode of treating it is we want to use compression and relaxation of the tissues to pump out this irritation and allow for healing. So what happens is you have this inflammatory response, and you want to manage it. And so what you do is you compress and relax the tissues and it pumps the old inflammation, like the waste and the, and the, the deoxygenated, deoxygenated blood, out of there and allows the new inflammation that carries oxygen healing factors to come in to actually heal and work the disc. So let me demonstrate here. So this here with a reverse hyper. I'll have a patient lay face down. And we usually have them put their the ASIS here, this, this portion of the, the pelvis on the table. And if you zoom in here, what happens is you have a distraction part or like some decompression of the spine where this pelvis drops down. Like granted this pelvis here has seen better days. It's not as flexible as the human pelvis. But that distraction is going to relax out these tissues and then you have the person lift the hips up and that's going to cause that compression. It's almost like a plunger pumping out the, the old inflammation and then allowing the, the new uh, healing inflammation to come in and to, to heal the area. So let me demonstrate myself here. So you want to get this pelvis on this position here. You're going to lock your hands around this bar. You want to tighten your lats, contract your abs. So you want kind of abdominal brinks. And we go through this range of motion here. This is the decompression of the traction of the spine, and this is the compression as the muscles contract and causes the, this hip to extend. So this here is a range of motion right through here. It just works those muscles, and it's going to help work that disc, work out the inflammation, and help the disc to heal. Okay? So if you have any questions, you can visit us at uh, westside-medical.com to see more of this product.